In this presentation, we will explore the differences between Git and other version control systems. Specifically, we'll be comparing Git with SVN, also known as Subversion, Mercurial, and other version control systems. Let's dive in to understand which system might be the best fit for your needs. Let's examine the fundamental differences between centralized and distributed version control systems. First, we'll look at centralized version control systems, or VCS, such as SVN. In a centralized system, there is a single central repository hosted on a server. Developers check out files from this central server, and a network connection is required for most operations. Centralized systems typically follow a simple model with a linear history. Examples of centralized version control systems include SVN, CVS, and Perforce. A key consideration with centralized systems is that they have a single point of failure, the server. Now, let's consider distributed version control systems like Git. In a distributed system, every developer has a complete copy of the repository. This allows developers to work offline with full history access. Distributed systems support multiple remote repositories and make branching and merging core operations. Examples include Git, Mercurial, and Bazaar. A significant advantage of distributed systems is built-in redundancy, as every clone serves as a backup. Let's compare the key features of Git, SVN, and Mercurial in a table format. The first feature is the repository model. Git and Mercurial use a distributed model, while SVN uses a centralized model. The second feature is branching. Git offers lightweight and fast branching. SVN's branching is directory-based and slower, and Mercurial provides lightweight, named branches. Performance is another key aspect. Git is very fast, SVN is slower and network-dependent, while Mercurial offers fast performance. Next, the learning curve. Git has a steeper learning curve, SVN is easier to learn, and Mercurial has a moderate learning curve. Finally, Let's consider storage efficiency. Git uses content-addressable storage, SVN uses delta-based storage, and Mercurial uses Revlog-based storage. In summary, Git excels in performance and branching capabilities, making it ideal for complex projects with multiple contributors. SVN offers simplicity for teams transitioning from no version control, while Mercurial provides a middle ground with an easier learning curve than Git. Let's compare common commands between SVN and Git. First, we'll review the SVN commands. To get a repository in SVN, use the command SVN checkout, followed by the URL. To update the working copy, use SVN update. To check the status, use SVN status. To add files, use SVN add, followed by the file name. To commit changes, use SVN commit, followed by the message flag with a message in quotes. To create a branch, use SVN copy, followed by URL1 and URL2. To view the history, use SVN log. Now let's look at the equivalent Git commands. To get a repository in Git, use Git clone followed by the URL. To update the local repository, use Git pull. To check the status, use Git status. To stage files, use git add followed by the file name. To commit changes, use git commit followed by the message flag with a message in quotes. To create a branch, use git branch followed by the branch name. To view the history, use git log. Git commands operate on the local repository first, with separate commands to interact with remote repositories, while SVN commands directly interact with the central repository for most operations. Let's explore when to use Git, SVN, and Mercurial based on different project needs and team scenarios. Git is best for open source projects, distributed teams, projects requiring frequent branching, offline development, and complex merging scenarios. SVN is best for teams transitioning from no version control system, projects with large binary files, simple linear development, strict access control requirements, and teams preferring simplicity. Mercurial is best for teams wanting Git-like features, but with simpler commands, distributed workflows, teams preferring a consistent user interface, and projects with less complex branching needs. 
In conclusion, there is no one-size-fits-all solution. Choose based on project needs and team expertise. Git dominates modern development due to its flexibility, performance, and the GitHub ecosystem. SVN remains relevant for teams with simpler needs or legacy systems. Mercurial offers a middle ground with distributed features and a simpler interface. Consider migration costs when switching between systems. Ultimately, the best version control system is the one that fits your team's workflow and project requirements. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.